गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट हेयर्स योर वीडियो फॉर फिफ्टीन अप्रैल 2020. We have been discussing about the differences between the plant cell and the animal cell. Now, the main features uh, that that are different between the plant cell and the animal cells, I have made you all note down. If you haven't yet done, please note it down. And then let us now discuss the nucleus of the cell. The nucleus of the cell is situated. towards the side in case of plant cell and it is centrally situated in case of animal cell to look into the points this is the membrane it is a double membrane which is called the nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane is not continuous it has pores in between we call them as nuclear pore other than the nuclear pore inside the nucleus whatever fluid is present is known as nucleoplasm and there's a dark region in the nucleus which is known as nucleolus in the nucleoplasm are suspended thread like substances thread like structures which we call them as chromatin fibers they are made up of proteins and dnas and they are the hereditary material now nucleus being the most important part of a cell but then there are cells which do not have nucleus can you name them the cells that do not have nucleus one is your rbc rbc do not have nucleus another type of cell is the sieve tubes of the plant cells they also do not have any nucleus they are both of them are living cells but they don't have nucleus there is one demerit about these cells they do not live very long they have a very short life span because they don't have a nucleus in them in prokaryotes there is no defined nucleus present but the genetic material is present in a region known as nucleoid region so when the term prokaryotes come it is understood it is a primitive organism so let us discuss little bit about evolution how did the whole world evolve how did things came into being how did we become what we are today so uh, i hope all of you know that the first life on earth uh, developed or emerged in water so did it just come up no it didn't just come up there were some biomolecules formed these biomolecules included some proteins carbohydrates lipids rna is ribonucleic acid dna uh, deoxynucleic acid and these together got covered in a envelope like the cell membrane and form the first prokaryotic cell so the biomolecules aggregated inside a membrane to form the first prokaryotic cell and from that prokaryotic cell evolved the a better shade of the prokaryotes or maybe a little bit developed prokaryotes you have heard about the cyanobacteria which is also known as blue green algae it has pigments which can do photosynthesis so it is again a step in evolution which we can see that had occurred might have occurred because of which the prokaryotic cell started producing oxygen in the environment uh in physics you might have studied a little bit about the big bang theory that the universe is expanding there was a time when there was a explosion the sun formed the solar system formed at that time earth was a very hot planet it was so hot that there was only the elements present on the surface of the earth how many elements are there on the surface of the earth i hope all of you know that around 119 elements are present on the surface of the earth and they are into on the surface of the earth from day 1 the earth evolved that is the day the earth was born yes it is very hot it was very hot slowly it took millions of years to cool down 
as it started cooling down there was water formed as water was formed in water life began as life began there was this formation of this algae which started producing lots of oxygen so there was cycling of oxygen water everything in the air uh, in the environment it developed from these unicellular organisms developed the unicellular eukaryotes from the unicellular eukaryotes develop the fungi and from these unicellular organisms develop the plants and the animals that they are today for this i would like all of you to view this short video was just an animation of how uh, man evolved from a unicellular organism well there is lot to talk about evolution uh, let's see if when we meet we can discuss a bit more about evolution talking of uh, the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes there are certain distinctive differentiation between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes uh, to be precise here is a table showing the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes prokaryotes are small in size whereas eukaryotes are larger than the prokaryotes i hope you remember the very small organism like the pplos which is around 22 micron in size they are living cells nucleus is absent in prokaryotes they have a nucleoid region whereas eukaryotes have a organized nucleus with nucleolus nuclear membrane and the chromatin threads uh, prokaryotes do not have membrane bound cell organelles they are absent in prokaryotes whereas 
uh, cell organelles are present in eukaryotes the membrane bound cell organelles like mitochondria chloroplast lysosomes these are all present in your eukaryotic cells in prokaryotes ribosome is of 70s type in eukaryotes ribosome is of 80s type in prokaryotes the membranes show certain modification uh, which are believed to do certain specialized function whereas such membrane modification is absent in case of eukaryotes so here is the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes